welcome to Game with a Scottish accent. I'm Dal Dan, so we're back with some more Final Fantasy XI today, guys. We're having a little break from the notorious monsters. We're on freaky. We're on freaky. We're going to go unlock Paladin. As you can see, freaky is my second character, and he doesn't have too many jobs. He has a few. He has a few. Not too many, though. So we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. Between this and my other character, I've got three all together. I've got an alt and two actual characters. Uh, we have got the possibility to lock all the jobs. So today we're going to unlock Paladin. First of all, I want to thank you all for the awesome support. This is a uh, fastly becoming my most, most viewed series and it's freaking fantastic. I mean, thank you all. Very, very much for that. Uh, I appreciate it. But anyway, let's get going with unlocking Paladin. So first off, I want to get Signet because it's habit. Uh, <laughs> you have to have Signet. You have to have. I know that whole uh, video in Castle O didn't have, but uh, I was there for a week. So give me some credit. And I didn't have a Signet staff, unfortunately. Right, guys. Uh, I'm... I'm going to go do it. Let's go. First of all, South Sandoria. We need to find a guy called Balasail. All right, guys. Now we're back in South Sandy. This guy can be a pain in the butt to find. Basically, you need to head to here where this dude is, Carolinian. And uh, you need to walk west from him. So you go west from him, which is just straight on. Round the corner, up the hill, and over to Grandma's we go. Uh, is he this way? I think he's this way. Is he this way? Have I went the wrong way? I think he's this way. It's been a while since I've done this, and I believe he's right at the back. Yep, yeah, that's him there. We talk to this dude. Oh, oh, cutscene. That's a good sign. We are getting a cutscene. Always a good sign. Accept the challenge. Okay, so we, we have to get a revival tree route. Yeah, you've got a couple of options here. You can either go to... As I said, King Rampier's Tomb and uh, kill stuff to get it, or you can just go to the auction house and buy one. Now, revival tree roots, I think, drop from ghosts? Possibly? Possibly ghosts. I am not 100% sure. Yeah, ghosts and uh, the dog dudes. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. My hands are in the wrong way. I've, the wrong way? The wrong way. Yes, Jonathan Walsh, yeah. Um, yes, ghosts. Or, you know, the dog dudes. The big, huge dog things. Dame. What are they called again? Mad Fox, Titan Towns, Black Wolves. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. I know the big dog things. The night dogs that come out at night. Night dog. That's it. It's a night dog. So just check the auction house. Otherwise, I think it'll be under materials alchemy, I would think. Let's check. Revival. Yes, revival root. Oh, they've got stacks of them. Okay, fine. I can't, saves me, I can't be bothered farming up. Oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. This is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. What? Okay, we need to farm it. We need to farm it, so Tainty Towns are... Uh, okay, Black Wolves, Wolf Zombies, Bargess, Spooks, Ghosts, Bog Dogs, oh my god, this is a pain in the butt. Sold all the crap in my inventory, got 20k. Fantastic. Alright guys, once you have it, head back to Balasail and trade him one. Not 12, just one. We only need one. Where did it go? There it is. There. Boom. Take it, buddy. Thank you very much. First quest complete. Now, this quest is called a Squire's Test. Next, we have Squire's Test 2. I got a sword. I go sword. Look at that. Hi, right, guys. Uh, you don't have the zone or anything for this. Just re-talk the boy straight away retalk straight away and he'll give you another quest called the squires quest 2 now this uh, has a few steps well some are optional you can either go talk to some guys or you can just head straight 
and do the thing. So I think we're just going to go to head straight to do the thing. We need to go to Ordell's Caves. Okay, that's a pain in the butt. Alright guys, so we're going to head to Lithian Plateau and uh, head to F6 and then find this NPC. He's on the north, the kind of east side of this ravine. Head down. There's something weird going on my camera. I don't know why, but it's not moving. I'm going to just double check settings in a second and see what's going on. But it's freaking annoying the crap at me. So now we need to head into Ordell's Caves. Uh, follow the left wall until you zone. So you want to... Just follow this. Oh, the left wall. Wait a minute. Can't zone this way, can you? No, the zone's this way. So just keep going right to the back. You zone it in the Ordell's Caves. Job done. Sorry about the data. Some, some reason when I updated the... Uh, the dart files to update some stuff. Uh, the Lathian Plateau dart snuck in, which is a uh, crappy. I didn't want that. We we'll have to fix that. Definitely going to have to fix that. Alright, okay, guys, weird. That was some weird thing happened. But anyway, uh, we need to go follow the right wall. Travel to G4 on the map. Okay. I don't believe. Oh, I do have a map. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Before you go further, guys. Before you go further. Grab. Guys, on map two, now we want to head to G6. So basically just hug the right wall the whole way. Alright, guys. When you enter this room, first of all, hit this, uh, this, question mark. Place your hands into the pool. Okay, now you have to frantically search for the second one. There's another one somewhere in here. Uh, Planar Rift. Here we go. Oh, found it. Found it. Where'd it go? There. There it is. Find that. Click it. Do it quickly. We get the key item, which is fantastic. Okay, now all you need to do is head back. Hey guys, once you've got the key item, head back to Balasiel and South Sandy to complete the quest. But you'll probably got, I think there is a cutscene at the end. And you get the Squire's Certificate. Which is required for the next, next event, obviously. The next quest. Alright, now that the prerequisites are all done with guys next quest it's called a night's test that's right a night's test okay there's a couple of things we need to do here we need to talk to balasil then we need to go speak with banis and southern sandy he is over at the west gate to get the book of the west and we need to speak to ka kaharm over at the East Gate, and then we need to go to Devoy. So let's go do it. I'll show you where the guys are, and then we'll head to Devoy. Because in Devoy, we need to go get a Knight Soul from a disused well. All right, guys. So I think you had to zone in order to trigger this second cutscene. I have tasks for you. If your heart is ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. You may have just had to talk to him again. Uh, we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know the book of tasks okay so i need to go talk to the two npcs now one is over the west gate the other is at the east gate and then we head to the voice so let's go get that done hey guys we're we're here what up bonice bonice we've got the book of tasks and then we get the book of the west now we need to go get the book of the east from the dude at the east gate you guessed it. He's on the parafet. The parafet. Okay, we've got the book of the best, the book of the east. Now it's off to Devoy. Now the fastest way to get to Devoy, I believe, is if you have the survival guide warp will take you there. Otherwise, it's a Jugna Forest out warp, uh, outpost warp, and then chuck one down. Or we're going to go check the. the dudes, the Unity NPC, to see if he can teleport us. If he can, then that would be fantastic. So I think he's at the West Gate. I'm not sure. Let's check the, check the East Gate. I'm from Bastock, so I don't know my way around Sandy. Yeah, he's at the East Gate. He's at the West Gate, sorry. Okay, so there's no Unity Warp, so we're just going to have to use 
Well, there's a unit warp to jug Jugnar, but there's not one to Thingamajigger. Well, this takes you straight to the outpost, which is fantastic. Okay, so from here, it's just a straight shot south. Right there, at the Valdut Brook is where you're heading. I'm going to grab the survival guide warp here, actually. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me it. Good. Thank you very much. Let's grab my mount and let's head. Okay, I said the Valdut Brook. It's actually the little peninsula right to the side of it. The Valdut Brook is where you go for the the mall. The carnivorous mall to go to the past. That's a carnivorous mall location. Which is a pain in the butt to get to. Especially in the past. That is an absolute nightmare to get to in the past. Ugh. Flashbacks. Ugh. Alright, in the boy guys, you want to hit the survival guide first and foremost. That gives you the warp, which is what oh, you're definitely going to need. Especially for getting out of this damn place. Right, uh, also that guy is handy for uh, relics and stuff like that, I believe. So, basically map. Let's see, have we got a map? We have. We are heading for E10, which is way, 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 way over over here. So basically we need to hit the river, follow it all the way to the end, then walk down. Now you want to sneak an invisible. Sneak an invis because even so, even though if you're level, especially if you're on level 30, but if you're level high, level 99, they still freaking aggro you because orcs are dumbasses. <laughs> and they enjoy pain and suffering. So you want to sneak up, you want to follow where I go to the river. Basically, you want to head straight for this, straight over here, fall off into the river, fall the river all the way around. Bob's your uncle, easy peasy poo. Yeah, this is the danger area here because this is the, the entrance to the, the mosaic caverns uh, right in the middle of that. Right in the middle of this little island is where the, the main, the bad boy. It's like the the orc boss resides. So you want to, you want to sneak an invis around here or you will they will aggro you. From the top and come down and wreck your day. Now I want to just check where I'm going. I'm going the right way. Fantastic. So we want to just keep following this river all the way to the end. At the end, at the at the end, at the end of the river, guys. Take a left. Head south. As far south as you can possibly go. And the well should be down this way. Should be. I may be wrong. I hope I'm not, but I may be wrong. Have we got a well? Have we got a well? This used well. This used well. Fantastic. Drop sneaking and viz. Check it out. We get the knight's soul. Now, head back. Hey guys, head back to South Sandy. Talk to Balasil, and you will have completed the quest and unlocked paladin fantastic we also got a kite shield which i believe we can't equip yet can we it's a level uh, 28 shield so you get a shield that you can't even use till level 28 which is just fantastic <laughs> all right guys hope you've enjoyed this hope you found it helpful for those new players out there this is who it's aiming for uh, Check out the rest of my videos, I've got some Notorious Monster ones kicking out now. I've also got the Beastmaster Unlock and How to Unlock Dancer as well guys. So check out those videos as well as other videos from Final Fantasy XI and we've got Minecraft and stuff like that going on. So remember to check them all out. But as I said, I'm calling it so if you did enjoy it, remember to hug your wish to scalp that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, spread the word, tell your friends, I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>